Okay, so I've got a little bit of information and one of the things I think that might be useful would be to do, uh, to get a little more information about your sadness and your mood. Um, is it okay if I ask you some questions about that? And I'm gonna ask you uh, to put it on a scale and zero on the scale is you're just gonna kill yourself. It's the bottom. It's the absolute bottom of the scale. And so if you ranked it a zero, you would be so down with your mood that you would just be ready to kill yourself. 10 is the top. That's as happy as you could possibly feel. So it's a mood that's down to the bottom of sadness and up to the top of as happy as you could be. And that would be a 10. And you would be doing whatever you do when you're really, really happy, as much happiness as you could possibly feel. And so on that scale, zero, bottom, 10, top, what would you rate your mood right now? Good. Two. Okay. So a two. And what's going on right now to make it a two? I was able to get up today. Yesterday I couldn't get up. I, uh, I got here and I'm hoping this will help. I just, I feel I can't Everything around me seems dark, okay. and I can't seem to escape that. Deployed when I was 18 years old over to Iraq. Um, it was going great, you know, I felt, felt like I was doing something. Uh, I didn't get to talk to my family much, uh, maybe every three months. Um, and, you know, I didn't know what was going on at home. Uh, you know, I had a fiance when I left. Um, Life was great, you know, and eventually, you know, time to come home and came home and, you know, my family's kind of in disarray. You know, my grandma died. I didn't get to go to her funeral. They didn't tell me, so yeah, kind of tore me up. And uh, you know, my fiance left me for one of my best friends, and you know, I guess I kind of, that was shock in my life. And so as I'm imagining it, you are, uh, you're back, you're drinking, it's part of being numb mm -hmm. and getting rid of those emotions. Um, and as you talk, one question that comes to mind to me, and my guess is that this would be a, a dishonorable thought to have, although not an abnormal thought, because it's not unusual when people come back and life is disappointing and hard and you're drinking and you're managing those emotions, it's just not unusual to have a thought about suicide or about killing yourself. And my guess is that would be in opposition to your culture too, but I, I don't know. Uh, yes and no. Um, you know, one way we look at it is, you know, from we've had everything taken from us. Uh, that's one thing you can't take from us. You know, our, our life is ours to give to the Creator, to Wankantanka, which is our our God, mm -hmm. and um, you know. So when it's our time, you know, it's kind of our choice. Uh, okay. Sad thing about it is, you know, I'm feeling down, and a lot a lot of times, like yeah, I've grew up, I have I, my it's probably nine years old, my first friend committed suicide, um, and it. You know, brings the community together. We have big honoring, big feast his for his family, for him, and just days of celebrating. And uh, you know, it's kind of like brings the family back together. You know, and I had another friend do it after that because you know he was couldn't graduate high school and didn't have nobody there, and he wanted his family to come back together. So he committed suicide just to felt like, you know, it's going to bring his family back together, so, and it did for a bit, but meth came in again, so it kind of tore apart. Mm -hmm. 
And so I'm hearing two suicides of people that you knew well um, by around the time that you graduated high school. Oh, uh, one was when I was nine, and and then a good friend was was sixteen. Um, mm -hmm. And now by the time I was eighteen, I probably lost maybe seven friends from drinking and driving, drugs, um, stabbings. You know, so I guess to us, I mean, death is death, so it wasn't really a big deal. You know, kind of a celebration and and. 